Ever since I was a kid, one of my favorite Batman villains has always been the Riddler. I don't think that'd surprise many of you. As I got older, I developed a preference for puzzles that employ hard logic over riddles relying on wordplay, but I can still appreciate a good riddle if the answer feels fair, sensible, and objective. Something like this, for example, which I remember thinking was clever when I was a kid, won't really do it for me nowadays. Of course, we went to the left, but in the Arab world you always eat with your right hand. I thought about making this video about the Riddler's earliest appearances, all the way back from the late 1940s, but his brain teasers from that era are… let's just say, less refined. Instead, I wanted to show you riddles of his that are actually as characteristic of his intellect as they're meant to be, and with that as my goal, one movie stood out in my mind, 1995's Batman Forever whose portrayal of the Riddler benefited not only from Jim Carrey's trademark charisma, but also from Will Shorts's expertise in puzzle design. Will Shorts is the only person known to have a degree in enigmatology, the study of puzzles. He's been the editor for the New York Times crossword since 1993. He founded the American Crossword Puzzle Tournament and the World Puzzle Championship. And still, as of recording this in October of 2020, he's never given in to the temptation of claiming his rightful Twitter account. So just an impressive list of accomplishments all around. And although he's uncredited, Shorts designed the Riddler's four brain teasers that appear throughout Batman Forever, and that allowed for them to be much better than if the film's regular story writers had made them. So without further ado, let's take a look at each one, we'll see how many you can solve, and then see if you can solve the overarching puzzle that incorporates all four. Bruce Wayne discovers the first riddle shortly after leaving the scene of the crime where the Riddler killed his first victim, though at this point in the film, the police determine it was a suicide. The riddle goes like this. If you look at the numbers on my face, you won't find 13 any place. Think you can figure it out? Pause it here if you need more time. The answer, of course, is a clock. In order to show us the time, a standard analog clock has the numbers 1 through 12 on its front-facing display, called its face. The second riddle is left at the front gates of Wayne Manor, and it's a little trickier. Tear one off and scratch my head, what once was red is black instead. Pause here to think about it for yourself. The answer to this one is a match. After tearing one out of a matchbook, you'd scratch its head against the striker to light it. Typically, the tip of a match is originally red, but once the flame goes out, it'll be black. Later, arriving with Bruce Wayne's Daily Mail is the third riddle. The eight of us go forth, not back, to protect our king from a foe's attack. Pause now if you want more time to solve it. The answer is pawns, as in the chess pieces. Each player starts with eight pawns, which can only move forward to your opponent's side of the board, never backward unless they're promoted, but at that point they're a different piece entirely. And of course, all your pieces in chess are tasked with protecting your king from being captured. The fourth and final riddle is practically hand-delivered to Bruce as he lies unconscious in his house after a surprise attack from the Riddler and Two-Face. We're five little items of an everyday sort. You'll find us all in a tennis court. This one's a little tricky. Pause it here if you want more time. The answer is vowels. Not counting Y, which is unique in that it's only sometimes considered a vowel, English has five vowels, A, E, I, O, and U. 
Each of them appears once and only once in the phrase, a tennis court. Not to mention, they appear in alphabetical order, too. Pretty clever. But hang on, there's still more to do. We may have solved each of the four riddles, but it still seems like a dead end. I mean, a clock, a match, chess pawns, and vowels? Are these really useful? There's a larger puzzle incorporating all four riddles. If we can solve that, we may learn the Riddler's true identity. You can pause the video here to solve it for yourself. Just be warned you may find the answer a bit obscure. Don't get me wrong, it's still completely solvable if you have some experience with these kinds of puzzles and give it some time. I don't know, my advice is just don't spend too much time on it. You may or may not be disappointed by the answer. Pause it here, give it a try, and move on when you're ready to see the answer. Alright, so what secret are these riddles hiding? As it turns out, the answers to the riddles aren't helpful. We have to focus on the questions themselves. Something they all have in common is each one has a number. In order, from the first one Bruce Wayne received to the last, those numbers are 13, 1, 8, and 5. These numbers can be converted to letters by counting the letters of the alphabet, where A is 1, B is 2, and so on. That would give us the letters M, A, H, and E, which, unless this is an anagram for ahem, doesn't seem like the answer we're looking for. But the 1 and 8 can be linked together to form the double-digit concatenation 18. Now converting the numbers gives us M, R, and E, which spells Mr. E, referring both to the word mystery and the Riddler's secret identity, Mr. Edward Nigma. What did you guys think? Did you like the riddles? Did you like the overarching puzzle connecting them? Did you hate all of it? Let me know. This will always be a channel about logic puzzles first, but it's nice to take a look at decent riddles now and again too. Thanks so much for watching everyone, and until next time, happy puzzling.